seeing all the hard work just pay off is always like an amazing feeling and to do it here at the Target Center in my hometown was just unreal, unreal. Dante, I saw you at First Ave when you were about 17 wrestling as Airwolf and after the match you, uh, you went out to the mezzanine and you watched uh, the matches afterwards. Um, have you been, is that kind of study something you've always done? Uh, for sure, like uh, at that same show probably I think was Darby Allen, so I got to see Darby Allen way before he was here, so that was things like that, just being able to pick brains of people and kind of just make your way around, it's, it's really good for you. Dante, congratulations on all of your success lately, it's been very cool to see. Now, let me ask you, just who has really been almost like a mentor to you? who has been the person that you can go to for advice or tips and whatnot? Uh, if it's not Leo right now, it's Dean Malenko or Jerry, for sure, Jerry Lynn. Uh, Dante, being in the ring with Lee Moriarty, yeah, no, 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 no. it seems like another guy that the company can build around for the future. What was that like, and uh, what did he bring out of the Oh, uh, for sure, yeah. Uh, Lee Moriarty really brings out the best in everybody, and that's why he's here in all elite. But uh, stepping in the ring with him, it was definitely a competition and one of my hardest yet. Uh, he's been out since about February now. Uh, there's not really like a time gauge on when he's coming back, but he's super excited to be back, ready to take over the tag team scene and keep Top Flight strong. When Darius got hurt, it was a terrible situation. Like Top Flight are a very big part of AEW, but we knew it was going to be a long injury. And when Darius got hurt, I think you were still 19? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Dante was 19 years old, so it was critical not to let his development get stifled. So it was very important to me to make sure to put him on an accelerated track while Darius was out so that his development continued. And I think we've made lemonades out of a terrible situation, right? Tried to make lemonade out of lemons. and. Uh, you know, he's had uh, so many great matches. I remember when we first sat down and I wanted you to Matt Seidel and what a great uh, uh, rivalry and mentorship it both it, it has been. And, uh, you know, and now Leo has been such a great coach for Dante also while Darius has been gone. But I think we miss Darius a lot and can't wait for Darius to come back. And also uh, Leo is back on Wednesday, but with Leo being gone, I think from both of us and from everyone in the company, just sending our sympathies to Leo for the loss of his grandmother, which is really uh, a terrible situation. Dante, you're doing so great already. You've been in the ring for so much so now. Obviously, something you're going to be working on over time is your mic work. Is there anyone you've been working with on that? Is there any advice you've gotten uh, uh, on that aspect of your game? Of uh, which part? Your promo work. I, I talk to Eddie Kingston a lot. Eddie <laughs> Kingston's a, one of the best guys out there for that. and. The, no, the amount of knowledge she has is just insane. Dante, congratulations on everything. Thank you. How do you see you, yourself in five years? Hopefully it's me and Darius with the tag belts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best answer I can give you, yeah. Uh, hopefully I'm back with Darius and we're running things around here. Dante, name something that you learned in AW with cameras on, a national audience, big crowds, and all the mentors like Jerry Lindy, like you mentioned. Just what's something you now know that you didn't know a couple years ago about uh, one of my biggest things, and it carries out through not only performing in the ring, but just with life, is confidence is like skyrocketed by far. Dante, being from Minnesota, what were the emotions going through last night, right before you came out, and you heard that crowd explode for you? Oh, it was awesome. I was waiting in the tunnel, and I could hear Aria out there, and the second the, the crowd just exploded, it was, like my heart was beating. It was just absolutely unreal to like come back to this building after going to so many wrestling shows here it, it was it was awesome what did it mean to have a, a fellow hometown guy like Aria there as well I mean that he got an incredible reaction as well it was it was awesome because not only was Aria a hometown guy but he's also played a hand in training me so it, it made the moment even cooler follow-up question for Tony is Aria coming in well, Aria did a great job in his debut. He was excellent, and I thought he did everything I could have possibly asked for him. So uh, he's, he's off to a great start with us. We'll see what happens in the future, but I would certainly consider having him back. I really liked him a lot. I've met him before. 
and uh, I've seen him work a lot before, but it was the first time he worked here. And it's a good time. I mean, it's, it takes a lot of confidence for me to put somebody on live television in their debut. So that's you know usually a good track record of things, and they did great in the match, I think. Dante, I have a final question for you, and mine is, it may be a little bit cheesy, but the people are getting to know you, and like we just mentioned, the promo work and really seeing you out there in the ring. So to the fans, to the audience, what do you want them to know about who you are? Who is Dante Martin? Uh, I'm just here to really show that I'm trying to change the game, I'm trying to innovate, and I'm trying to just absolutely make wrestling a thousand times better than when I got into it. And I think that's really like why we're all here, with all elite. Thank you. Huge shout out to the Young Bucks because the Young Bucks brought Dante and Darius to me over a year ago. I think you guys DM'd. Yeah. You DM Matt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, highlight video. that's where I saw your highlight video and uh, we ended up you you guys tried out and we were doing Dark and Daily's place and I remember I stopped the tape and came out and told you I was signing you and uh, we've never looked back and uh, I'm so happy for you, and I really wanted this to be a special weekend for you, so I'm Thank so happy it was. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Tony, with so many veteran names coming in right now, like Hunk and Brian and Miro and Eddie and literally everybody, how uh, important is it for you and how difficult is it for you to stay focused on young talent like Dante and making sure that they keep their spot as a prominent member of the roster? Really important, and I think you saw that across the weekend. Like last night on Rampage, it was a focus for us. You know, Jungle Boy and Dante, huge focus in the show. And you know, then you have uh, MJF and Darby Allen opening the show, so a huge focus on young talent, top to bottom. And I think uh, Dante is one of the most important young talents in the company. He's come so far, and Darius is a great talent too. When he comes back, you'll have two great singles wrestlers and a great tag team. And we'll see what happens with Leo. Although, to be honest, with Team Taz and the Acclaim, there are a lot of people in the mix for Dante's services right now. It's pretty unscrupulous to be recruiting. Dante when Leo's away on the part of Team Taz and they claimed, but uh, nevertheless, uh, it, you know, uh, everyone wants Dante, so uh, I think he's very important to the company and that's one thing I really take seriously is making sure we have young stars, Sammy Guevara, the TNT champion, another great young star in the company, so, uh, and in the women's division also, so many great young stars in the company uh, with, you know, Ty Conti and Anna Jay and so many other, and Britt Baker, our champion, a great young wrestler, Jade Cargill, and so many other great young stars, top to bottom, and a great mix there in the women's division, also of veterans and young wrestlers that we have, both men and women, really stacked with great stars of all ages. As mentioned by Tony, how you and your brother got to AEW by pretty much the Young Bucks, mm -hmm. what has it been like to see your evolution of pretty much yourself in the ring? Uh, it's been cool. It's been a Amazing. Uh, I feel, like Tony said, making lemonade out of a bad situation. A lot of my growth has happened since Darius has been out, since he's been injured, and since then, since the pressure's been on me, I feel like I've really driven it in. Yeah, you have. He has. <laughs> That's great. Is it? And one more? Yeah. Dante, okay. what's that thing hearing in AEW that you have learned? that maybe you didn't learn in the past, and you have made that pretty much for yourself. Hmm. Besides confidence, I would, there's so much I can't even wrap my head around it. Being here is just amazing, like you learn something new every day, uh, whether it be like a big thing or a small thing. You, everyone's here just to grow and get better as a family and can't even think of one thing. For sure. Thank you. 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 Thank you.